Hi, it's Emily from Bite Size Vegan, and welcome to another Vegan Nugget. Today, I'm honored to be joined by my friend and mentor, Gary Rofsky, who has graciously agreed to be here and answer questions that you, the Bite Size Vegan audience, have sent to me. I'm going to be releasing this interview in a series of videos, so be sure to stay tuned to the channel. Gary, I just wanted to thank you so much for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here and answer some of these questions. Anything for you, Emily. Thank you. When you are trying to educate about veganism and you come up against someone who, who is either you know, actively combative or just does not seem to, to want to hear what you're saying, is there a point at which you walk away and how do you know when it's that point, especially if it's someone that, you know, maybe like a family member or a close friend? Family members and friends are the toughest people to talk to and convert anyway, so I would not waste too much time on them. Uh, believe it or not, even though I've converted, some say hundreds of thousands of people now worldwide because of my videos being uh, passed around on YouTube and Facebook, uh, I've had virtually no success with friends and family members. Give me a crowd of strangers, I could rock the house, I could convert people that I've never met inside of 45 minutes. Uh, friends and family members though, they're like the toughest people in the world. Don't spend too long with them. Give them a chance, everybody deserves a chance. I give everyone a chance when I walk into a classroom. But after my speech, um, if you start saying the same dumb things and stupid questions, I'll cut you off after a few and say, okay, you know what, man, you need to go home and relax. You need to think about what I said. Your foundations are crumbled and you need to rebuild those foundations later on and take a break. Uh, so I don't even spend too much time with people who are being combative. Now I'm fortunate because most of my crowd is not combative. So I get to talk and educate, but those are the people I'm looking for. And I've become a great psychologist over the years, lecturing to 60,000 plus students. I walk into a classroom, I'm like, good person, bad, good, bad, on the fence, on the fence, uh-oh, trouble. And when I see those troublemakers, in fact, I won't even call on them when they raise their hands. I know who the troublemakers are. Now, sometimes professors get involved in the Q&A and they call on them, so it turns into a little chaotic scene. But I, I avoid those troublemakers altogether. I've been doing this for 18 years, though. I'm a little tired, and uh, I, I, I don't want to fight anymore. I don't. I'll fight for the animals. I'll preach for the animals. I'll die for the animals. They could put me in jail for the animals. But I don't want to fight anymore. This is so simple to me that I'm looking for the people who are understanding the message as I lay it out throughout the speech. And I want to have a discussion with them about it and help them make the conversion. Because that's really the toughest part of converting somebody is to explain to them, okay, where are you going to eat from now on? Where are you going to shop from now on? So once I get to those questions, I just that's, that's where I want to be and help people make that conversion. I think something that a lot of new vegans struggle with sometimes is, is non-vegan friends or family, which we spoke a little bit about. But um, I've had some people ask, do you have any non-vegan friends? And if so, how do you, how do you navigate that friendship? Yes, I do. My oldest and uh, dearest friend, Darren, of 35 plus years, is still in my life. Although we've drifted apart over the last few years, but I've drifted from everybody. Uh, all the violence in the world, all the evil in the world has made me a misanthropic recluse. So my entire golden life after I'm done preaching is to get back home, get back to the hotel. I don't hang out with too many people. But uh, you don't have to be vegan to be in my life, you just have to be honest and truthful. Like Darren looks me in the eye and says, Gary, come on, man, you're right about everything. Animals don't deserve this. I'm too lazy to switch. What do you want from me? Now, I despise his laziness, but I love his honesty. Because if you're honest with me, that prevents a fight from happening. The fights happen with non-vegans when they start lying about what's going on. Animals don't feel. Animals can't think. God says it's okay. I need my protein. That's the only way. And we're going to have a fight because those are just complete and utter lies. It's absolute stupidity to be saying things like that. So if you can avoid saying that to me, you don't have to be vegan to be in my life. However, tough to get into my life at this stage of the game. Hey guys, it's Emily. I just wanted to let you know that there is a bonus part two of this video in which Gary talks about his one rule for eating with non-vegans. You can check it out by clicking here. I've posted it over on the Bite Size Vegan Patreon page, but as a public post, so you do not have to be a patron to watch. But while you're over there, you might as well take a look at the awesome perks that you get for being a member of the Nugget Army, like access to even more bonus footage. With your support as a patron, I can keep veganizing via video and spreading the message. Before we return to the interview to close it out with Gary, 
Now that you've heard his perspective on how he deals with non-vegan friends and family and those who are a bit combative, I want to hear your experience. If you're vegan, I would love to hear how you interact with non-vegan friends and family, and if you're a non-vegan out there, I would love to hear your perspective of your interactions with vegans and if there are approaches that you found more effective versus more off-putting. So let me know in the comments below, and now we'll return to close things out with Gary. Gary, I just want to thank you so much for, for giving us your time, and I've been asked on behalf of, of so many of my viewers to just thank you for, for everything that you do. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Keep on. Everybody, pass your stuff around. It's tight stuff. Honestly, BitesizeVegan.com. Share it. Stay tuned to the Bite Size Vegan channel for more installations of Gary's interview. I'll also be posting bonus footage of questions that don't make it to the channel into the VIV section of BitesizeVegan.com, which you can access for free by signing up for the Nugget newsletter. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and be sure to subscribe so that you never miss a nugget. Now go live vegan, and I'll see you soon.